<laughs> Hi, welcome to this channel on Magnetic Energy Technology Principles Applications. This video is about plastic and getting rid of plastic, essentially. It's a massive problem around the world. Uh, it's, I mean, I don't even need to tell you how serious this problem is. And this is no justification for the use of plastic, just because we can get rid of it. And in fact, I think corporations should be held accountable oil companies for, for what they've done to the environment, but that's just a side note. This is highly unconventional information, of, unless of course you work on this technology and then you already know everything I'm saying. Now, I'm, I'm only going to give an overview of the technology that would do this because I can't give out too, information, too much information. For the people that are working on it, don't give me any shit because I am not going to be giving out enough information to, to basically create this technology, so there should be nothing to worry about in what I'm saying here. So it's, this is, um, this type of technology, the magnetic, this could be called like a magnetic attractor and converter technology. And it could be essentially used with really any object, any, any object in, in our world and any type of element, chemistry, whatever, it doesn't matter. Any type of object is capable of being attracted or repelled with these etheric magnetic fields. And the reason why is because this, in this model, it is the inflow and outflow of energy through all molecular structures. And that, so all of these open systems give us the ability to hit that resonant frequency and hit the proper pulse rate of essentially any type of object and then create a right attract field to it if we want to. So this, now when it comes to plastic, it's a little interesting because there's a lot of chemical compounds in plastic that kind of overlap in nature and I'll get into that in a second, but we're essentially creating a safe room temperature nuclear reaction where we are bombarding plastic with pulsing uh, neutral magnetic fields. And when we hit the proper pulse rate and then the pop proper molecular resonance, we are causing the plastic comp to completely break down into nothing. So we're, we're causing the chemical bonds to unlock in the plastic through the use of neutral pulsing magnetic fields. And so this is a, this is a, a device that you could call like the magnetic attractor converter thing. And so what it can be doing, and, and it can be programmed to any type of object, and the medium is really critical. So I'll just talk about it in the oceans, for example. But you could also use the same type of technology in landfills or anything. So once we hit the exact molecular resonance and the pulse rate, the neutral magnetic pulse rate, the, the plastic will break down to nothing, absolutely nothing. And at that point, what we're doing is we're essentially using the reverse of that field or what we would call the inflow of the of the field that is generating that energy and that inflow will then attract those molecular structures that we've broken down it will attract more of them into the reaction or into the reactor so this could even be like something that floats in the ocean and there could be thousands of them especially because depending on how strong you make the field the radius might only be like a mile in diameter and so now you could make you could make devices that are stronger. They could be 10 miles in diameter. They could be 100 miles in diameter. But just for the sake of this discussion, I'll just say it's like a mile in diameter. And so then you could have them and they could move throughout the ocean. They could be all wirelessly controlled and you could do all that kind of stuff. And the advanced versions of this could go way beyond what I'm even gonna say because they could convert the plastic into nothing right in the in the ocean or in any medium. But just for the sake of this explanation, we would be talking about the ability to attract the plastic in the water to the device. Now the, the strength of the attract field is gonna be anything from less to equal to greater than the actual strength of the molecular bonds in plastic. So you can have it be very strong attract fields and, and you get the idea of like how powerful the implications are of this technology and while, why, why it is so important that it is not released before we have some sort of ascension because it's, it's just too powerful a technology. And so imagine like you're attracting the plastic in the ocean 
and you're attracting it at, at varying rates of degree. And so you're pulling it to the device. And then at that point, it would be attracted inside of the device and then the device would convert it to essentially, essentially neutral energy. Now, part of the issue with this is, is there's a lot of biological life. There's a lot of life forms that have plastic in them, including humans. And so partly what happens when this device forms a toroidal field around it, everything that gets in that field starts to resonate at like a temporarily at least at a higher resonance that allows the plastic the plastic to be attracted through or out of the biological life without damaging it and so this is really important when it comes to humans because we may need this technology to clean humans of plastic in the future. Now we could be going through such radical shifts on this planet, um, energetically and everything, that none of this technology may even be necessary. So, I mean, we don't really know the shifts that are coming, what they're gonna do to the nature of matter on this planet and artificial matter that's been created. It could all just completely be wiped out just from the, the change we're gonna go through. But assuming that it's still there and we need this type of technology to help clean the oceans and everything else, what will happen is it will, will attract the plastic in there and will, the life forms will be at a level resonance where the plastic will just basically attract right through their cells and right through their skin and everything to the device. Then the device converts it and it's so that allows it to then just keep moving and keep doing that as it goes. Essentially removing all plastic down to the molecular level from any medium, but especially from water and especially from the life forms in the water. This is really important. And of course, then we want to remove it from us as well, from humans. And so, and really from soil, from landfills and everything, but you get the idea. So you can, every type of plastic that you start converting, automatically those resonant signatures automatically get added to the toroidal field because there's so many types of plastic. I mean, there are thousands of different chemical formulas. And so you've got to be aware that you're, you are attracting a lot of different chemical formulas in this process. And, and part of the issue is in converting them in the field is we don't necessarily want to straight convert them because the chemistry overlap into things that are in the water and into biological life, there's such an overlap there that we don't want to just simply blanketly convert everything until the technology is sophisticated enough to say, wow, this is a plastic bottle, just convert the bottle and not everything around it that might overlap in the chemical formula. So you kind of get the idea of how serious this is and, and how it can really transform our planet and help transform the environment. I just wanted to put a quick video on this. Please send in any, any questions that you have and comments about this and, and we can do more topics on this on how you clean the environment, how magnetic technology can help clean the environment. And yes, yes, it's alternative for now, but it won't be for much longer, hopefully. And once uh, thousands and thousands of scientists get their hands on this tech, it's gonna go crazy. So with that, I will see you next time.